Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're doing another Swiss pre-release Magic Origins draft. Uh, rare is Orbs of Warding, which I did get beat by in the last draft, but I'm not going to first pick it. Uh, I think we just take Jesse and Thief. This card's amazing. Just straight up, strictly better Scroll Thief. I like it. Uh, Leaf Gilder Ramps, though, which is definitely good. Um, nothing, honestly, this pack's not that deep. Topin Freeblade is good. That is a good card. I like the Freeblade, Leaf Gilder, Visionary. I'm going to go with Jesse and Thief. I think this card is pretty fantastic. So, let's take it. Okay, pick two. Uh, we've got Yavamaya Coast, which is not worth that much, but... Currently an on-color fixer. Stratus Walk, which I imagine works really well with Jesse and Thief, actually. But I, would, I think we can hope to wheel that. I also think Grasp of the Hyromancer works with it. But I think we're probably just going to Celestial Flare. Honestly, not that busted of a removal spell because it's not targeted. But it still kind of feels like the best card in this pack since it is, in fact, removal. And the best part about Celestial Flare is it puts that fear in your opponent. If you're conscious of leaving double white open, even when you don't have uh, Celestial Flare in hand, and your opponent knows that you have Celestial Flare in your deck, they can play around it. Sometimes they don't, but when they do and you don't have Celestial Flare, I can assure you it feels good. Um, yeah, Celestial Flare, decent removal. Ooh, well, Swift Reckoning's pretty good. Uh, otherwise, it's like... Unholy Anger, which is good, but I'm fine with Swift Reckoning. I mean, obviously it's not as good as Unholy Anger, but or Hunger, rather. Potentially is, if you have the old Spell Mastery, but I think Swift Reckoning's a pretty awesome card, actually. Um, yeah, otherwise it's like Water Courser, if I want to stay on color with the Jesting Thief, or Unholy Anger, if I just want a solid removal spell, but we'll take Swift Reckoning. So what, maybe a blue-white evasion? Hmm. Seems like a decent uh, aura, actually. Uh, I probably just want Separatist Void Mage. I love this card. And uh, it works really well with Jesse and Thief. Aspiring Aeronaut is also good. But I'm going to go with Void Mage. This card's fantastic. I mean, what's funny is it's like just a worse... Mana War, but even a worse Mana War is still an awesome card. So that really tells you how good Mana War is, I guess. Okay, probably just want Knightly Valor here. Pretty strong card. Otherwise, there is another Topin Free Blade. Uh, but Knightly Valor is very strong. It's a very strong card. Awesome on a Jesse and Thief, definitely. Um... And yes, it's an aura, but just the fact that you get immediate additional value, I think, really makes it a great card. Actually, I actually think Brawler's Plate's pretty awesome, too, with Jesse and Thief, now that I think about it. I do like Topin Freeblade. You can't really deny the power of a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two Vigilance that has Renown. That's pretty awesome. I'm still going to take the Valor, though. All right. Passed a good card in Stalwart Aven. It evades it's got renown blocks fairly well early otherwise there's another angel's tomb in here it's interesting to see rune servitor i think actually the card is a fine two drop for most decks um but stalwart aven definitely getting the go ahead here um i'm fine with charging griffin not a good defensive card but a fairly good aggressive card and uh, nothing else in the colors we're currently in. This card is very strong, though. This card is very strong. I mean, is it worth just dipping out? The two blue cards I have, I'm pretty happy with. A bounce creature as well as a creature that just draws me cards. And gets bigger with non-creature spells. That's tough. I think this card is ridiculously strong, but I'm going to take the, the Charging Griffin regardless. 
Uh, you know, Grasp actually seems like something I could play in here since it works really well in a Jesse and Thief. I mean, if I get if I play Grasp on Jesse and Thief when my opponent's tapped out, I get one hit in and draw a card. I think at that point the two for one is is probably okay as long as I've drawn my card. I feel okay. And uh, this deck can get better with Oromancer now, which I assume goes pretty late. You know what? Orbs of Warding works so well for my opponent. I'm going to sideboard. I feel like this is a fantastic sideboard card. If your opponent is just a token-heavy deck, I really think this could be a... Well, obviously it is. I mean, I straight up just lost to it when my opponent played it, and I had, like, Chandra's Fury and a bunch of, like, 1-1s. A card, it can be really good, but I'm going to resign it to the sideboard only at the moment. I actually think Meteorite's a pretty good card. I don't know if I'm going to run multiple Grasps. I'm, I'm probably okay with one. I'm not even sure if I'm going to run one yet, but Meteorite's good because it lets you splash. And it's a removal spell. It's actually just a fine card. I've always liked Meteorite. It's nice to see it go late, too. I think this was just a uh, fan-developed card, too, which is kind of cool. I believe it was. So whatever fan came up with that one did a great job. Uh... I don't really care about any of these so much. Guess I can take Guardians. Maybe there's some potential. Maybe Blue's not open. I don't know. All right. I'll take the Bonded Construct. Some fairly late Elf dudes, but I don't think Black White Elves is a deck. Bonded Construct's a card I'm okay with. It blocks. I've never had a problem with Bonded Construct, actually. Ooh. Brawler's Plate's pretty good. I mean, granted, it's clunky to... Uh, equip, but I actually think the card's fine. All right. Jam Day Tomb. Not likely to play it, but there is a chance. I would say it was a pretty successful pack one. Problem is, we got nothing bonkers, but we got our removal. We got some value creatures. What does this seven drop do? Doesn't untap during your untap step. You can untap it for seven. When it attacks, it deals seven damage to target creature. Wow. That guy's good. I think we take that. Granted, it costs seven to untap, but otherwise we take uh, Blessed Spirits, which is actually a pretty reasonable card currently in our deck. We have a Knightly Valor and a Grasp. Um, and we may not be in blue. Maybe I should have taken that Powerhouse green card, but I got a pretty... Oh, Charging Griffin you can take or leave, I guess. How open was green? We saw some late green cards, but nothing like nutty beyond the six drop like overrun i'm gonna take this guy this guy seems really good makes our meteorite better too all right despoiler of souls i see um elemental bond currently works with like nothing in our deck okay not that one then except except for majoring responder here's a removal spell in green maybe green is the direction i'm supposed to go Otherwise, I take a Disperse. Problem is, there's nothing good in white. So it's definitely like, what's the best card in the off color? I can take the Disperse. I'm okay with it. Works reasonably well with some cards. But, I mean, it's it's a nice tempo card with Jesse and Thief. Otherwise, I take Wild Instincts. Maybe move towards, like, green-white beats. I mean, Wild Instincts is very good. Could also take Fleshbag Marauder towards Black White. Um, I'm going to go with the Disperse. I'd like to make blue work. If we can't, so be it. All right. Well, we still could make it work. Hmm. Haven't seen that guy yet. That's cool. Uh, and Shrouding Mist is a pretty good card. It's a combat trick that also protects you from burn spells. I think we're more looking at, like, Ring Warden now. I think Turn to Frog is actually okay. We don't accept it. Cards like any X1 is going to be worse in our deck if we if we do want to run Turn to Frog. But I actually think Ring Warden now is just a very good card. So I'm going to take it. It does put us deeper blue, but I don't know. I'm willing to try a little blue-white skies out. Could take another Disperse. I actually think... 
tactician is fine. Works fairly well with Jesse and Thief. Heavy infantry is only... It's a little dirtily. Another disperse, but... I'd probably rather have creature that does affect. Let's take uh, Tactician. This card is strong. The card's strong. I'm going to take Tactician anyway. Okay. Uh, another Void Mage. Pretty happy about that, actually. Let's cut the Tome. I think that's pretty unlikely to happen. I think Guardians I'd prefer to not happen either. I'm still okay with Bonded Construct, but let's bring in the Void Mage here. Definitely number two. I love this card. Okay, Oromancer currently... I guess it's the pick regardless. Otherwise, it's Maritime Guard. But Oromancer currently at least brings back Grasp and uh, Knightly Valor. And who knows, maybe I get more. I don't have to run Oromancer, otherwise... It's not a big deal. I think Oromancer is more for like the Blight Caster deck, probably, but it works fine with something like this. Uh, I probably just want Evolving Wilds. Otherwise, I could take Negate, but I think Evolving Wilds is probably just better. We have some color intensive spells. There's still a chance I may want to splash something. And having a Meteorite and Evolving Wilds, I would say, makes that pretty easy. Um, I guess I can take Negate now. It's a playable card, main deckable too. It's definitely a good sideboard card. I'd prefer to not main deck it. Deep Sea Terror seems playable. Alchemist Vial does seem good with Jesse and Thief, but Deep Sea Terror is not great. It's pretty much just a big defender in here. It's not super likely we're going to have seven cards in our graveyard. I guess I can take the Vial then. Okay. I'm alright. I mean, it can't trip, so there's never like a major issue with it. And it turns off attackers in a pinch. It's a fine card. And there's like the little artifacty synergies out there. Not in blue-white, I suppose, but... Um, I still think Vial is, is more likely to be something that we want than the Deep Sea Kraken. This deck still needs a little bit of work. I would say two to three more bomby creatures, and I'd be happier with this deck. Because um, we have, like, some hard removal. The Mage Ring Responder is a big dude. I guess file number two. All right, I'll take the Terror now. I still don't like it that much, but... All right, and Shrouding Mist is pretty great, so I'm pretty happily taking that. Like I said, Combat Trick that, you know, protects against Burn, I think is pretty powerful, actually. So, cards I don't want to main deck currently. Um, probably not the Negate. All right, we'll take the Heavy Infantry now. I don't think I'm necessarily going to need a second negate. And Heavy Infantry is playable. Not terribly exciting, but playable. I mean, we, we have a decent blue-white tempo deck. I think the main issue with our deck is I would like some more evasion. I think Deep Sea Terror is just probably just not going to happen. There, there are some cards that synergize well with it, but we don't have them. Like Screeching Scab is a card that obviously is good with it. Um, if you're in blue-black running the... Uh, the uh, Centaur, that like Mills 4. I'd say that was good with him. And like I said, at least he can block, so it's not like he's unplayable, but he just is not striking me as something terribly exciting. Um, Battle Priest is playable. I may just want the Ascetic for sideboard. I think I can do better than Battle Priest and having Enlightened dude for uh, decks that run like Suppression Field or something could be good. I'll take an Act of Treason. I don't want to get acted. I don't want my Mage Ring Responder to be stolen, tapped, kill my one of my guys, and then I have to pay 7 to untap it. That would be really bad. Alright, Dark Petition. Not terribly exciting, but Thunderclap Wyvern seems really good. It's on color. Another Ring Warden Owl. Um... 
and a renowned guy. I think I just want this wyvern. Like, it's not a guarantee I can wheel it. And uh, I do actually have flyers that it's good with currently. Not a ton, I'll grant you. Not a ton, but enough where... And I can find more. And it's got flash. It's just a good... Uh, it's There's a lot of potential value with this card, actually. You just kill a 2-2. Uh, two -two, buff your guys, maybe. I just think it's a really strong... I think it's a really strong card, actually. This guy seems good. Jeez. Knight of the Pilgrim's Road is definitely good. I'm still going to take this. I think I would take Ring Warden Owl, actually, if, if Wyvern wasn't in here. We didn't table Stratus Walk Pack 1, sadly, but we only have one Jesse and Thief anyway. Alright, well... That guy's strong, but we gotta. I think we just take Aven. Let's lower the curve slightly here. Get some more flyers. Um, I do like the Ring Ward now, but I think Aven is probably probably more exciting. I think it's better for curve purposes. I don't think there's too much luck of tabling Griffin or Owl. Maybe disperse, but I'm not even sure I want a second one necessarily. Well, Clash of Wills is pretty playable. There's also Scrapskin Drake, which has good synergies with our Wyvern. We are a little bit creature light. I like the idea of leaving up instant speed removal as well as leaving up Clash of Wills. But I do want a little bit. I mean, I want some more creatures, definitely. Scrapskin Drake's kind of not the best, though. We're not, like, dedicated beatdown, which I think makes Drake slightly worse since it can't block. I'm going to take this Clash of Wills. I have saw this card played, and I thought it was really good. I mean, it's a strict reprint of whatever. There's already been Power Sync, I think, yeah. Just Power Sync with a new name. Um, I'll take it. I like it. So, uh, we're on an okay path here, actually. I think our deck's fine. I think Alchemist Vile's probably getting the boot. It's just an easily replaceable card. I think Oromancer's probably getting the boot, too. We only have two cards that work well with it, and most of the time it's going to be a three-mana 2-2, two -two, which I think is not that good. Okay. Uh, Celestial Flare, number two. Or a third Stalward Aven. I might just want the Aven. There's also Angel's Tomb, but we don't really have a ton of creatures to support that. There's also a Knight of the Pilgrim's Road. I'd rather have the Flyer. Removal we're currently rocking is Celestial Flare, Swift Reckoning, Disperse. And Separatist Void Mages and Meteorite. I kind of just want... I, I want some more creatures. We're still Creature Light. I feel like we're a little bit removal light too, to be honest, but Celestial Flare is not the best removal, especially against like token based decks. And Stalward Aven just feels like something this deck really wants a lot of. Wow, what's this guy do? Three mana, two one flying non creature spells cost one more to cast. Well, kind of hurts us a little bit. I could take the Aeronaut, which gets a lot of value from Thunderclap Wyvern. I already have a few, quite a few four drops, actually. I mean, Wingmare is going to go into Thunderclap Wyvern better. It is, when all said is done, or said and done, a 2 1, though, which is not the best. I might just take it anyway, rare. I kind of want to try it out. I think Aeronaut, like I said, works better with the Thunderclap Wyvern, but there could be some situations where Wingmare. Screws my opponent more than it screws me. We can only hope. Uh, Charging Griffin, I think we'll take. It's just something this deck likely wants. I maybe cut Meteorite. It does ramp us towards Majoring Responder, but at this point we have no need for fixing. Brawler's Plate, maybe I'm on the fence about a little bit. 
It's also a veteran sidearm, but I want some more flyers. Blue white skies, baby. All day. Maybe grasp is less necessary in this deck, actually, now that I think about it. I do like meteorite quite a bit, and getting to responder is nice, but having no fixing is less good. I'll take the griffin anyway. I mean, I'll figure it out later. All right, I think I might actually just want this rune servitor. I don't really have a lot going on early. I feel like we could get steamrolled. Let's cut the grasp for that reason. Um, quite a few four drops. I still think Tactician's pretty, pretty good though. I don't think I want the Battle Priest. It's fine. I think we just take Servitor. I'm probably gonna make it work too somehow. Uh, I can take Bonnet Construct number two. First Fairy Miscreant this late. It's just not gonna happen. One mana, one one flying. Not good enough. Yeah, I mean, it's got synergy with Wyvern, but I'd almost rather play like a Bonded Construct. I don't think I want a second Heavy Infantry. I'd probably take the Construct. I like having these early... They work well together, and they block early, which can be good in certain matchups. I might not play them both, to be honest. I'll take the Stratus Walk. The problem is it pretty much only works well with, like, Jesse and Thief. It does Cantrip, though. I probably don't even play it. Yeah, I likely don't play it. I don't think I'd play in Valor. It's a fine card, but I'd rather just play Tactician. I'll take the Stratus Walk. I just don't think it's happening. All right, well, Table Disperse number two. I don't even think we're playing this either. Charging Griffin, though, number three. We do have a lot of four drops. Otherwise, Screeching Scab, which isn't really that good for our deck. I'll take the Griffin. I think we're going to find a way to make this work. I mean, we're definitely going to find a way to make it work. I just haven't figured it out yet. I don't really care about this card. We have enough four drops for an eternity. All right. Let's take this, I guess. Rabid Bloodsucker, sure. Titan Strength, second to last. It's pretty surprising. Okay. Uh, so we have to make some cuts. I think we're probably not playing both bonded constructs. I am okay with one, but we're looking clunky enough. I think Brawler's Plate's going to get the boot. It seems too mana intensive because we've got all these four drops. I almost just want to keep the constructs because I just don't have a lot going on early, which could be a big issue. We have like infinite four drops which is not great. I could cut the Tactician because it doesn't fly. I don't love it. I'm pretty tempted to cut Meteor right now, I guess. Yeah. It basically just gets us to our 7 drop. It doesn't even fix us. It's 5 mana, 2 damage to anything, which I don't think is quite good enough. Plus it's 6 mana if I have the Wingmare. Wingmare actually got better for our deck because we just don't have a lot of non-creature spells. So it seems like a card that will affect our opponent more than it'll affect us for the most part. I want to play all my flyers. I only have to make one more cut. I could cut the Tactician. The problem with Tactician is in this deck, I don't have a ton in the first three turns. Like by if if I have this in my opening and I get to turn four and I play it, there's not a great chance I have more than like one creature. The construct I admit is not great but i just like having early defense cards because we are a little bit clunky in the middle construct's not a great card but it seems like something i'm gonna want with all of these with all of these mid to late game finisher flyer stuff i guess i cut tactician so plenty of creatures we have some removal. We have protection, combat trick. We have bounce. Knightly Valor's great. Heavy infantry is a little bit unexciting, but I guess I mean I could I, I could easily do a swap here like that. The thing about heavy infantry is how often am I going to want to 
tap something down. Not, I, I think actually not that often. Um, because I've got all of these flyers anyway, like it seems kind of unnecessary that I'd want to pay the extra mana to tap something down. I feel like it's going to be an irrelevant ability most of the time. All right. I feel better about Tactician than over Heavy Infantry. Um, everything else seems, eh, it seems pretty good for this deck. I like where this deck's at. Not a bonkers deck. We only have like one pretty powerful card. And it's 7 mana, which is not ideal. But it is a strong card. And we've got some removal. We don't have a ton, but we, we have enough to tempo our opponents out. The Void Mages are, are pretty valuable in here with our our Flyers. And the Thunderclap Wyvern I'm pretty happy with. I hope this card plays as well as it looks like it should in this deck. I mean, we have 4, 5, 6, 7. We only get 7 Flyers? 8. 8 Flyers, which... Well, nine, including the Wyvern. I wish I had more, actually, now that I think about it. But I'm not going to play Stratus Walk in a deck that's got eight Flyers. That doesn't seem right. It's only good on the Jesse and Thief. Okay. I, you know what? This deck's okay. I'm fine with this. And I think we can play Evolving Wilds. It's a card you don't want to draw as your third land, but you're pretty happy with for helping fix uh, if it's in your opening. And uh, I don't want to do 10-6. This is 10-8 with Evolving Wilds. I could do 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't really need blue until... I need white early. I don't need blue until mid mid game, I think. I'm going to go with 10 8 with the evolving wilds, which I think is perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll try it like this. Like I said, not a busted deck, but blue white skies. All right, trying it like this. We'll see round 1. <laughs> 